So here I am in the amulet market in Bangkok. So what is interesting about this place is because they're selling amulets, I was warned beforehand by somebody who had a good point. I was being a little superstitious that whatever the fuck I buy here, if I don't know where it, what it is and I carry it on me, it could have implications in terms of uh, my luck, my fortune, my fate, my outcome. So knowing me, I don't know what the hell I'm gonna buy here, but it's just an interesting experience. But with that said, what I did buy that would benefit my cause is, yo, look at this big, strong, viral dick. No, seriously, it's a penis. It's a penis fully erected. Mm -hmm. That's gonna be my outcome for the next little bit. I mean, I'll wear it wherever I go. Obviously, different types of fertility comes in different sizes, as you can see. These are my huge phallic cocks, as you can see. The one that I bought to buy for myself, obviously, for good faith. And then you got the very little ones. Look, look how small this is. Look at these mini tigers. Yo, these are some tigers fucking big ass erections in proportion. But I mean, compared to those ones, you can obviously see they are very, very small. Speaking of fucking small dicks, how about bullet dicks? I swear they have like thousands of amulet dealers here. They all sell like moderately different types of statues, entities. I swear they got enough fucking material here for you to build the next fucking Taj Mahal in India. Just judging by how much earthly substances they got here. And in addition to the big penises, you also got the very virile females. Look at how virile they are. Jeez, with the titties poking out, the legs spread. And this is completely drawn. I think it's drawn on by a sharpie on a good rock, which is amazing. Look at this. So I think like here in Thailand, they take their fertility extremely seriously. So like the men, you want to buy something to like add more power to your genitals so that you don't need Viagra for the rest of your life. Whereas the female, maybe a rock like that would make you more fertile, I guess. But like this is all spiritual. You cannot fuck around with stuff like that. If you were a man, and then you bought something that a woman would have, like one of those rocks that you just saw. Use a bottle boy. So insofar as I have this penis on me and they're selling tacos, I wonder like how much of a risk it is if you just put the penis too close to taco. Oh, it's getting there. It's getting there. You need some sauce. You need some sauce, boy. That's exactly Hey, I think your taco needs some penis sauce. Oh, shit. It's fucking hot. Oh, God. She's laughing at me. Hey, it's not hot. Now, as we're shopping with these flea markets, generally you have some people on the street and then they ask for your salvation. So the man points out his foot. Thank you, thank you very much. The man points out his foot, obviously. He's trying to show me that he's not well. And then I feel like maybe sometimes I get suckered into buying these things, but he's not faking his symptoms. You can obviously see his foot. So here's something for good karma. So yeah, the minute he saw the fact that my camera was on and I was talking, he automatically pulled his foot away. Which is reasonable, obviously, because who the hell would want some jackass fucking filming his foot when he's trying to sell you something for good fortune so that he could feed himself at night. But, you know, sometimes, I don't know if this means eternal paradise or fucking 450 years of fucking bad luck. Yeah, Things I fucking do abroad, on sacred grounds, I just do. And then when I come back to the west, I wonder why I have fucking bad luck 24-7. Jesus Christ. Eternal damnation and hellfire and brimstone.